I enlisted in the Marine Corps shortly after 9-11. Um, I decided to go route of military police because um, I have members in my family who are in law enforcement and I was following in their footsteps. While I was in, I was attached to a presidential security unit and I did that for a good amount of time and I traveled with the president and I did security for the president. And then I transferred and became a regular military policeman in California where I was basically just a cop. And I got out in 2007. And when I got out, I was basically hunting for jobs and doing that stuff. School didn't really come into play till about four years after my military service. And initially when I, when I started coming to school, it was going to be for criminal justice. And that was my goal, just criminal justice. I was gonna keep that law enforcement path going. But then as school kept progressing, I've always been creative. Like when I was a kid, I draw a lot of, you know, I loved to draw when I was a kid. I was very musical when I was younger. You know, I'm very big into film. And so I wanted to continue kind of with that path along with my criminal justice. So I decided to dual major. And that's how I ended up getting into illustration. Initially, it was a tough transition. I went from a very structured lifestyle to where I had a, com a, a command presence to kind of give me a rundown of what I'm doing for the day. You know, they'd give me a job and I'd go do it. And so when I got to school, it's, it's, complete, it's the exact opposite. And um, a big help I got was from combat to college with uh, Joanna Starling and, and, and Jason Franklin. They helped because Jason was a former Marine and he understood the difficulty of that transition, they helped me get from that structure, waiting for the command, and then doing the job to, you know, actually, basically learning how to do it like everybody else. So they were a big, they were a big help in that transition. No point in doing any kind of self-promotion if you don't have a website, right? The, uh, but there's some really nice ones. And Professor Vaughn definitely, she was a great, uh, professor this year she definitely helped me just kind of take the stuff that's in my head and get it on paper but also you know show me ways to get it on paper and have it be effective you know have it be an effective image I did a, a piece on law enforcement I had to illustrate um, from an essay and the essay was an anonymous author writing about his time as a police officer and so I was able to take my time from the military as a military policeman and show just kind of the, well, the difficulty of being in law enforcement. Um, I was able to show it's, you know, it's a blank face. It's very like straight edges and bold colors because for most law enforcement, it's very black and white and it's a faceless community. School is exhausting, especially when I'm working full time and going to school full time. So knowing that that part of my life is complete, it's another thing that I've accomplished in my life. You know, I accomplished Marine Corps boot camp and I got a really good sensation from that. And I managed to survive the Marine Corps, which was a big accomplishment. When I got out of the military, that was a big accomplishment. So being able to finish college and get that diploma, it's, it's a great feeling, definitely. Being at Montgomery College and you know, going to school here and learning how to transition out of that military lifestyle is really going to be the big assistance when I get out into the real world. You know, I'll be able to take my experiences here and take that mentality of critical thinking and, you know, taking initiative and doing lots on all that and being able to take that into whatever career field I end up in. There's a little fear because I don't know what's gonna happen, but there's excitement because I know what comes next is going to be of a result from what I've done at school.